30 people, Putnam Street Lanes, April, April, King of the Hill. I'm Drew Steele with my man. Dave Peterson alongside. Yes, indeed. First matchup we got. Man on the left comes out of spare, spare time lanes. Mr. A.J. Gagner taking on perennial bowler in this. He comes out of uh, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, Manager, Mr. Anthony Carrick. Let's do this. Record night here, uh, Dave. Man. So, so. 30 bowlers. There's 10 lanes. Three bowls apiece. So uh, we were packed to the rafters. Yeah. Anthony was technically the uh, lower seed, right? And uh, yep. he was the yep. finished fourth tonight. And uh, yep. we're going to need uh, third. You do Anthony. I'm going to do Mr. AJ. I need right. Joe Corbett over here for BioInfo later. Joe Corbett and Jeff Burns for BioInfo. Thank you. We are in Fitchburg, Mass. Nice hit for AJ. Coming out of spare time lanes. Is that White? It might be Whitensville. It is Whitensville. Yep. Whitensville. Part of right. Northboro. Or oh, North, North Bridge. Bridge. North yes. Bridge. Anthony's going to need a good ball uh, for, for a good out here. Uh, AJ missed a little bit to the left there, leaving up the uh, three pin. We've got one string right here to, to move yeah, on. One string uh, matches until the finals. And Anthony off to the left will take a six. Uh, we do have a handicap uh, in this match. What is the handicap? Eight, yeah, uh, seven pins. Seven for AJ. AJ gets seven to start with, and he's just added to that already with an extra 17 to six four. in the first box. Yep. After box two, four, and five, Dave, I give the audience the deficits and our leads. Anthony's the five seed, AJ the four seed. And off to the right, picks off the three. Fish. AJ, the same spot, only gets two. If he's the four seed, shouldn't he be in the right lane? All right, we'll just remember that next time. No biggie. Right. Anthony, we still have a chance here. Oh, it's going to wiggle but not fall. Okay, AJ, right on the object. Wow, similar Left shots. Five and eight. Look yeah. Okay, Anthony's just praying it here. He was king. Back. That'll be a nine box. I think it was in July. July. Yeah. Was in. Yep. Lost to Phil Clough in August when you were on the mic with uh, Rick Santucci. Eight Rips. box for AJ. AJ leads right now. 25 15 through two. 10 bit lead. We got some new names here tonight, too, Dave. Names I've never had. Record attendance tonight. Oh, AJ way off. That's uh, a dollar for Candle Pimper Cancer right there. Shops out the four pin. Anthony took out the half Worcester, Dave. Yeah, he's going to try to work it out here as best as, as best he can. And oh, played it towards yeah, the, the outside yeah. and uh, just missed. Through the hole. Uh, AJ, nice bid on the object, but still left the 3 9 up for a 10 box. AJ out to that early lead right now. That's his first time I've ever seen him here at the King of the Hill. I think he's always at the spare time King of the Hills in all those competitions. AJ's a member of the ACST in the D division in the South. Yes, I did one of his matches earlier this year down at spare time. And of course, Anthony's in the C division in the North on the ACST. 20 right now. AJ leads 34 uh, 22. He's up 12. Seven boxes to go here. We got 14 viewers. Thank you. We're here at Putnam Street Lanes in Pittsburgh. Anthony Karen tries to open up the box, but not quite. Leaving the eight. AJ, 7 8. There we go. They're finding the head pin now. Anthony could have a little bit of a roadblock right here. Loose. He could sneak by that wood. But... Let's take a look. Oh, hits it right in the cap. Nicely done. Beautiful shot, Anthony Karen. AJ looking for the answer. Hit the cap. I got nothing. Okay. Needs to get one or two here. Big spare there for Anthony Karen. He was. Down by more than 10. That'll be an 8 box for AJ. AJ, 42. It's a 10 pin game, and Anthony can yeah. tie it up with this ball right here. We are 5th box. Bowlers will change sides after this box. The lead is 10 for AJ. Yeah. Now it's down to four. AJ, a little bit off the head pin. Still leaving up a one, two, seven, eight. Woods coming off into the gutter. We won't have to get that till later. Winner will play Joe Corbett. 
He's got a 102 average. We'll find out more biographical information as we go. AJ just off, just chopping the two. Yeah, both both bullets just chopping a pin on the second balls here. You know, you know, it's, first game is tough. Yep. You gotta get into that head-to-head -head competition thing after you've been qualifying. And AJ with an eight. Anthony makes a pin there. Half is over right now. Anthony with 47. AJ is at 50. 50. So we have a three pin lead for AJ Gagner. AJ does some commenting, commenting himself on and streaming. Uh, yeah, streaming does the whole, the whole oh, nine yards. He's one of us. <laughs> Again, once again, Facebook will let me do vertical. Nobody has taught me the way to, there's a way to do it, but I have not been taught it yet. So hopefully by the end of the year, somebody will be kind enough to teach me that. 20, over 20 viewers right now. 20 viewers. Yes, Saturday you. night in Fishburg. Oh, big break there, Dave. AJ does get a break. Leaves the uh, check mark with the head pin. Being Anthony Karen gets a break off that pin as well. Only leaving the one, the three, and the eight. I like AJ shot better. Yeah, if he can uh, hit it in either the one, two, one, three. Oh, just off by a smidge. Hey, Bo Bowler is just a little bit off on the object pins right now. They're going to have to fine tune it. Oh, Anthony right shot. Oh, don't want to break like that in this one string match, but sometimes you got to eat it. AJ connects for the 10 box. That was huge. Anthony looking to answer and does so. Three right on. It is uh, 60 to 57 in favor of AJ Gagner right now. Yep, still a three pin match. Four boxes to go. The winner to take on Joe Corbett. Joe Corbett, a new name, man. We're, we're really excited to see him both. AJ back at it on the head pin, a big nine pin drop. That's what he needed right there. When AJ hits that head pin, he's got great velocity. Anthony, though, off the head pin, leaves the post for horseman the 10. Wooden for the 10, though. AJ right on it. And nice piece of wood there for AJ. Rocking and rolling, good shot. Anybody with questions, please feel free to ask right now. We tried to get it in as close as we could to the pins. So you can still see the bowlers do their release and the ball rolling down the lane. This was about as close as we felt comfortable with. So, here's Anthony. Six box. The vertical kind of limits things. Billy Shiner Cedar says, let's go, AJ. Some AJ fans in the house. Uh, AJ right now up seven and a ball right now. Three boxes to go in the match. Winner will be getting Joe Corbett, first timer on oh, oh, Disappointing one. That's five dollars for Candle Pin for Cancer. <laughs> he's up to six in this game already, but he's leading by eight. Yeah, that was Here a comes big ball Anthony. Right there. Anthony right back eight, at nine. It. Beautiful ball by Anthony Karen right there. That's the answer. Anthony's a fierce competitor. He just loves the ball and compete. If there's a tournament, Anthony's out there. And AJ's going to have a big third ball coming up. And yes, indeed. Talking about big balls, this is <laughs> a big, big one right here for Anthony for a spear. And he makes it. Anthony Karras, 73 and a ball for me. All right. Wow. Five bucks. Oh. So Anthony picks up five right momentum there. Momentum shift. Big momentum shift with that. Anthony Karen is now down three pins. He can take the lead with his dull ball. Yes. That one on the spare five bucks. Okay, two boxes to go. AJ Gagner up on lane eight. Chops through, only picking up four pins. His yeah, it's, that's rough. He's really having trouble finding that object pin right now. Here's the field ball coming up for Anthony. Baseball, the match. Ooh, he lost it. Did you believe it? Another five bucks for Kansas. <laughs> wow. Oh, both bowlers with one drops on their spares. Let's see how everyone works out of oh these leaves. Oh, my goodness. This is rough to watch. Somebody's got is gonna win though. So at, it, AJ was up three going into this box. Anthony, now. great bid, leaving up a three nine ten with a boatload of wood in front. He pins right here. Oh. So Anthony can take the lead if he uh, makes yeah. this shot right here. He'd lead by one. 
Yes. And wow. he makes it. Anthony takes the lead despite the one, Phil. No, he's up two. Two. All right. 84 82. Anthony Karen is up. Final box right here. Pretty much Ray Jim right here is a much marked situation, Dave. Looks like it. Yeah. It's got to go good. Right at it. Oh, goodness. Look at the 10 pin wobble. What a beautiful ball. Should have been a hammer, but it stayed up somehow. Anthony looking to answer here. Winner gets Joe Corbett. Anthony in the pocket himself. Gets a seven drop. Three, six, ten. Down on. Oh, oh, oh he pulled this to the left. So it's a seven, two pin game. If Anthony makes this, it's over. Anthony gets two. All gets two. Two out of three. Anthony gets two. He's right and on. That's it. And there it is. He's, He's moving on. Punch. He'll be moving on. AJ just had a rough game there. Made a good, did a, did a, did a good uh, first performance here, but it was not enough. With an 84 for 7, 91 game for AJ. Anthony does have one final ball to fill his spare in the 10th. Yeah. Oh. And uh, <laughs> it's his 102, 103 actually. Anthony wins by 12, but it was nowhere near that much of a came down win. to the, came down the, the final, final box. box 103, 103, 91, Anthony takes it. And when that came in, I said... Each bowler with uh, one fills on spares made things interesting. You did the right thing. You went to cap that and snap it off the wall. Okay, where's Joe Corbett? I need some vibes. All right, we'll go back to spare Like, what house are you from? Old Lindy's. Old Lindy's? Where is that located? Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay, man, that's awesome. So next, do you we have, have uh, do you have like, a high triple, high single? Anthony Karen against Joe Corbett coming up, and we'll get the handicaps for you. Hey, Best of luck to you. Thanks for coming out tonight. Okay. We got some buy a whipper right now on Joe. This is his first time here. He's from Old Lindy's in Quince. Yes. We had people from CPL and Eba East Boston tonight. People from all over New Hampshire to help us tie this record. Thank you all for showing up. Western Mass. Western Mass crew is always here. The friend here, Fendo. Sarah Wright, Linda Brunette, Adelita. Sarah Wright winning a handicap ladies women's tournament today. Great job, Sarah. Sarah's in playoff position in D North too. But right now, the bowler gets one practice ball in each lane. And Joe Corbett will be getting four pins. Hey Joe, you get one practice ball in each lane. Hey Fish. Four. <laughs> Yes, he's on. Yeah, it's dead center, so awesome. <laughs> I've never gotten the balance before, so it looked a little weird to me. Because I've never had it in the balance beam before. All righty. Well, Dave, that was a pretty exciting game. Low scoring, but uh, very competitive back and forth battle. And you know what's amazing is the number of people who stuck around tonight to watch this. Yeah, it's what's great about this tournament, man. It's really a, a good spirit here. Um, we got the king, Mark Rivard. Why don't you say some words? Uh, I know you're very happy about this attendance tonight. Get in here. you got to get close to the, the phone, Mark. The phone's on the mic. So, is there a, you, any preference in opponent, Mark? No. Nope. Just, just, just doing your thing, right? Just doing my thing. You've been very good this year in the Hill Series. How have you been bowling lately? You're in your leagues. You've been beating your average lately in your series? Um, I've been... Up and down. Just go with the flow. If I have a bad box, I should go. Shake it off and make it better. I might get right back at it. Yeah. All right. Thank you once again. That is our King of the Hill, Mr. Mark Uvard, coming up. Yes, we're ready. Judy Bisson says, go Anthony Carrot. Barbara. Is it Kowalski? Uh, Kowalski, let's go, Joe. Barbara, come on, we get Joe's got some fans here. First time appearance in this King of the Hill series for Joe Corbett. He's had a Lin old Lindy St. Quincy, 102 average. High single, 158, high triple, 354. Okay, Anthony leaves up a one and a two. 
I've seen Anthony run run the table before to, to get a championship. Sure has. Yes. He's a very dangerous competitor. Anthony. Just off to the left. Joe filled in on my team at the Millis once a month we a couple months ago. So a little bit familiar with him. But he takes an eight box here. He is getting, as we said, four pins. And uh, Anthony has a 10 to 8 lead scratch. But if you add in the four for Joe, it's 12 to 10 for Joe after one. So box. Joe Corbett up two here. First time we've had a bullet from Old Lindy's, man. That's awesome. Getting bullish from a lot of different houses. This is Joe's second. Appearance. Second. Oh, he's been here twice. Um, on the ladder twice. Yeah. Yeah. I must not have been there that time he was here. Well, actually, Sarah yeah. taped it. Yeah, oh, Sarah. Sarah taped it. Okay. Yeah, because him and I tied for first place on the ladder, yeah. and oh, I won first over him because he had a high single. I stand correct. This is uh, Joe's second appearance. I was not here on one of the nights, and uh, him and uh, Cheryl Nealon ended up tying for a spot. Anthony just misses. He was in one two right now. Again, both bowlers need to find that object. And good job by Joe getting two, and we've got a rolling towards the seven. I don't think it's going to take it, and it won't. Nope, it'll just be a two. And this will tie up the match. match. Tie game right now, 20s each. Anthony, a pair of 10s. Joe, a pair of 8s. Winner will play Jeff Burns, who lit it up the last two games. So, uh, I think it was a 135 and a 147. Wow. Joe right in on the head. Man, I got to find out what lane he comes from. And he is an impressive, powerful bowl. Anthony on the head pin, 7-8. Gets a break uh, on the nose. That's a beautiful lead right there. Yeah, similar shots, except poor Joe has that... Looks like the nine pin nine hanging pin, yeah. out there. Four, seven, nine. See if the one helps. He's going to try to clip it, and he almost does it yeah. just off to the right. Great idea, just slight miss there. Here comes Anthony. And he gets there. Two beautiful planks in front of Anthony Karen. 30 and a ball right now for three. And Joe does the same thing. Takes down uh, those two, but that's a nine box. So Anthony up one plus his fill right here. Yep, Anthony getting back in the lead. Once again, you heard from the King of the Hill, Mark Vard. He's going to be warming up pretty soon, I would think. Getting loose. And Joe! Oh. Joe getting me to the pocket there, leaving a four pin. Beautiful shot. Here comes Anthony Karen on the left hand lane. Big fill right here. Anthony, five, six, seven. Okay, two, uh, seven, eight. But the wood's in a real nice position right now. Sure is. And Joe's piece of wood just moved a outside to the right. And it's not going to cover it. Just pulled it there. Yeah, it's tough to miss them singles in a one-string match here. Shauna Hearns says, go, Anthony. And oh. Anthony does go. Puts a Beautifully done. Beautiful conversion. 47 in the ball, Anthony Karen. Joe sitting at 38. Nine pin lead for Anthony and a throw ball. This is game two here. King of the Hill finals. Putnam Street lanes for April. Mark Bard looking to equal recent players such as Tim Susi, Cam Clark. Boy, that's three straight head Chris hits. Lafrenier and Justin Scully getting two in a row. In the head pin, breaks the split up again. Seven, eight, nine. His ball's working. What a field ball that was. 56 to four for Anthony. His ball's working. Joe Clunch. throws another great ball. Great effort. Joe throwing really good balls. Just not getting any justice right now. Well, that's candle pin sometimes. Let's see. You hit the head pin, though, eventually good things will happen. Three in a row. Three in a back row. to back to back attack for Anthony Karen. 66 and a ball. In the old days, that would be $50 for Anthony, but uh, in this case, it just gives him a good score and a good chance to move on. Yep, he's up 20 right now. 66 46. Winner gets Jeff Burns. Jeff Burns was by far the best bowler here tonight in terms of scores. So that could be a serious showdown, but I think Jeff is going to be giving up some pins 
three or four pins, I think. I think it's going to be four. It's 80%. And Anthony yanked it. Got three in the spare. 69. He's up 23 right now. Here comes Joe. Again on the head pin. And... Uh, well, you take Mr. Anthony right now. All right, Anthony, looking for four in a row. Gave it a great try. Yeah, it's a big shot here for Joe. Big shot to get him started, and just off a little bit to the left. That's just a, still plenty of time. Anthony takes an eight. That will give him seventy-seven through six. Show with a nine. that will be 55. 22 pin lead for Anthony Kara right now as we speak. Four boxes to go. Barbara Kowalski says, you got this, Joe. Go get it. And Anthony gets, boy, he gets some good action. I'd come, oh, goodness. Wow. <laughs> it looked for sure that the seven was going to fall, but it didn't. Joe mixing ball. Joe Hope must have been good action on his own. Yep, he left the one, two, eight. <laughs> oh, Anthony lost that one to the left. That'll be a nine box. That could be critical right there, that miss. Uh, Joe just off to the left. Yeah, Joe leaving up that one and two. Uh, see if he gets a ten box, though. That'll give him a gainer. Gets a ten box, gains one right there. He's down 21, three boxes to go here. That's 65, 86. That's basically three marks, really, at this point. Yeah, or... At least like a spear yeah, strike nine, exactly. ten, or something yeah. like that. All right, Anthony gets a break there. Could have been three, but gets four instead. Joe just off the head pin in the nose. Chop suey, cold and stale right there. Leaves a washout. Three and two leave. One, two, four, six, seven. No wood. Anthony takes out three of them there, leaving three. But at this point. Uh, Avoiding bad boxes is key for him. Big Joe shot, big shot. was right oh, in there. It didn't go. A bit full. Yeah, a little full, but right on that object. Sure was. Eight box for Anthony. 94 through eight. Joe with an eight box himself. 73. It's 21 to go. It's kind of almost double strikes territory or spare strike to spare territory right now for Joe. Yeah, Joe's going to need a, a huge finish here. Anthony again off to the right. Gets some good pinfall. And Joe's going to have a tough one on his own. That's a roughie. Leaves the cluster bunch. Four horsemen with a five niner. Oh, God. And that will about do it. Hey, Nico's on here. Nico's now part of the Family Bowling Network. He's like a moderator for us. He was moderating the, the Pro Series thing today. Hey, Nico, sure. how you doing? Yeah. Wayne Felch, what's happening? Yep. Did Anthony have a spare? Anthony had a spare. And this will be for a 10 just off to the right, a 9 box for, for Joe. So Anthony will be moving on. Yes. Um... He gets five on this right here. Yeah. That'll clinch it. Anthony well, gets four. I four think plus that, it does, that actually eight. does it officially. Yeah, anyway. that does it. Yeah, you're right. Anthony Care will advance. <laughs> Anthony Care will be facing Jeff Burns. You see Joe, Joe can go out with a mark here. Yeah. Nice ball for Joe. Oh. Come on. Oh, boy. Joe just got tattooed and beep this whole match here. <laughs> Anthony so, finishes off with a 10. That'll be a 118. Nico is making some digital content, he's saying, so that's great. Joe with a 9. 87 plus the full handicap gives him a total of 91. So Anthony's won his second straight match. 
he's advancing to face Jeff Burns, and the winner will be a will be facing our King of the Hill reigning champ Mark Uravard in a two string match. Mark Uravard, yep, um, in the money, all three of them now in the money. So big amount of money tonight. Record it's record amount of bowlers. Uh, Jeff, what house are you out of? I want bowl. Scratch. Um, this is a scratch match. Jeff, high single. <laughs> One eighty and uh, triple. Yeah, all right. So he played Anthony Karen the last time he was here. Only four ninety nine. I know you. Yeah. And I beat him. Got to go for the crown. Oh yeah. He's going up against Fritz. Wayne Feltz. Okay, we got Western Mass versus New Hampshire right here, baby. From representing Western Mass Agwam Bowl, recent winner Ryan Dra Drago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Out of Agwam Bowl. Yes. As well as Crystal Frenier with two wins. Agwam has three recent wins, going for four right now. All right. And they're doing practice, right? He's going to do it. He gets one box each lane if he wants it. What's that? Scratch match. Scratch match. Scratch match. 107's across. We got a scratch match fans. Thank you. We got 32 viewers right now. Awesome. Thank you for watching. I know we got a NCAA tournament game, UConn. Regional uh, interest in that matchup. Yeah, I think it's halftime. Yep, it's halftime in that one. So, hey, this chef was by far for uh, knocking down pins tonight the best bowler here. Um, OC. He had a little time off. Fendo did the same thing last month and he couldn't get it going once he came back out. So let's see if he's able to turn his game up and uh, like it was when he was qualifying today. And Jeff started his third string in the qualifying round with the triple strike as I as I uh, Yeah, triple, uh, yeah, he did. So, uh, he's capable of throwing a strike at any moment. <laughs> I'm going to take a seat for a minute. Yep. Yes, Nico, I'm doing an ACST match tomorrow night, 8 p.m. It's Class B. A big matchup. Uh, James Hughes against division leader Kyle Hattie. And there's only 12 points between first and last, Dave, in that division, man. It's also very competitive. It's going to be very, a lot on the line, that matchup. They only have three matches left, too. For, yep. And that's at Ryan's and Millis, I take it, right? Ryan's and Millis, Bob Lee on streaming. Outstanding. Oh, we got a good one coming up right up right <laughs> right down the line here from Fitchburg. Thanks for joining us. Anthony Karen always here, always competing. In the money again was the king. I'm pretty sure it was back in July. We we discussed this earlier. We thank all your viewers for uh, coming out. We got 28 right now. And Dave, go We're ready for Jeff. Burns. So Jeff's had a little time off here in between uh, the qualifying rounds. I believe these are the same lanes he qualified on. So. We're off and running. I did the same thing the night I won, so that was... It was, it was a nice thing to have. Anthony Karen kind of drops it, chops out yep. the six turn. So again, this is still a one-string match, so each box critical. Oh yeah, winner plays the king, Mark Uvard. That'll be a two-string final. Wow, this is a scratch match. Jeff gave that a good run. Ooh, Anthony. A little out of whack right yeah, now. Yeah, he knew, he knew that as soon as he released it. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, uh, whatever it is. Talking ACS to you, my man Brandon Pendle Martins, like uh, him and Dave. There's an eight for Jeff and just a four box for Anthony, so. All right, four pin lead for Jeff. This is the first time Anthony's really been behind. Let's see how it affects him here. That was a, that was a rough box. Here he comes back a bit. 
Jeff Burns with a high single of 180 and a high triple of 435 out of Agawam Bowl in Agawam, Massachusetts. Part of this Western Mass crew has been really dominating this tournament. Happy to see uh, the Western Mass Bowlers coming through up here. Yep. There may be a Western Mass ACST next year, is what I'm hearing. All right. Unofficial, but I've heard rumors. Um, Anthony leaving a one, three, four, seven. We call that the aces and eights, a two and two combination washout. Jeff just off to the left and punches through the uh, two and eights. Yes. All right. Here comes Anthony. Yeah, I pulled. Him. Just gets the three. All right. Well, Goros a lot on the line here. Important shot coming up here for Jeff. This is the largest amount of. Competitors ever tying oh, in this tournament. Just chips out the head pin. And Anthony with a seven. Down the All right, eleven for Anthony. Fourteen for Jeff. Page. Jeff burns up three right now. Old bowler is out to a little bit of a sluggish start. There's no handicappers. Both bowlers are at 107 averages. Yeah, and I think the next match, Mark's average is 107. So it may be a scratch match next one as well. Remember this. Jeff in the pocket, goodbye. Open up the kaboom box, Jeff Burns. Anthony gets four, five. All right. All right, a little bit of a break there. Difficult spare. The four horsemen yeah. and the five pin. That's really going to be dead flush and hope he gets something off the sidewall for the ten pin. Well, and here you can have that kind of action. <laughs> All right. Anthony still with five up. He really needs an out right here. What we call, what I like to call Dave, the deep breath and regroup moment. Yep. I'd be more than happy with the nine out of that. I'm sure he is too. Yes, indeed. Uh, right now, Anthony's down four, but Jeff with a two ball fill right here. Thank you, all the viewers, man. Let's up to 41 now. Here we go. The record's 59. See if we can beat that. We're here on the Atlantic, and we're here on the Canopy Bowling Network Facebook only. It'll be on YouTube later. Right? And He's got two balls on his strike coming up. Gets a seven pin drop and a boatload of wood here. Anthony finally in the pocket. Nice Brooklyn hit. Six, seven, eight. Leaves oh. a nine, ten. Wood is not the greatest, yeah, Dave. That was looking a lot better until the uh, one, the last pin fell and everything moved off, kind of yeah, off to the that side. Was a Let's see how Jeff plays it. Oh, hits the wood on the left, everything flies right through. That'll be a seven throw on the strike. Anthony for a spare. Oh, oh that what was a, a great run. Anthony. But just the wood was no good on either side, I don't think. I personally would have went at the 10 pin and prayed someone came up the side. Well, Jeff with an eight. Anthony looking to pick up something. That's a 10. 10 box for Anthony. Jeff with an 8. A Jeff Burns is up 9 pins right now. Coming in the last uh, critical fifth box, ending the first half of the final semifinal match here. 39 to 30 here. Jeff in the fifth. Scott versus go get him, Anthony. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that looked like a beautiful pocket hit in a 1 3 pocket, and look at that lead. Anthony. In the chop suey land, but I like his leave a hell of a lot better than Jeff's. He's got a one, a two, a four, seven, nine. Nice piece of wood in front of the four, seven. Jeff's gonna aim for the four pin and a piece of wood there. Oh my goodness, again. Double shot. You know, I hate those days. Wow. Anthony plays in the all in. Does not go for Anthony. Ugh, bad break. Jeff's going to decide which two to throw at. Oh, goodness. Oh, triple That was three goodnesses, oh, goodnesses in a row. Oh, I mean, it's, it's hit the object pin time exactly. in a six box. So How Anthony, hideous is that? Anthony picks up four by uh, virtue of his 
10 bucks right there. We're at 45 to 40. Yep, five can leave. We Jeff Burns right now. You take over on Mr. Anthony Karen. I get the number two seed, Mr. Jeff Burns. Impressive high singles, 180 and triple corporate cut. Once again, out of Agawam Bull, Agawam Mass. This will be four times in the last five months a Western Mass winner, possibly. And Anthony, would you believe it? Almost the same hits. <laughs> Incredible. Did Mr. Mass put crazy glue on the pin deck here or something? <laughs> that is amazing. Those are really good hits. Here comes Jeff right now, coming off of a really bad box. Last one, uh, right. yanked it a bit left, takes out the 478 though. Still a spare leave over there on the left. Anthony's going to the right. Almost. And he makes it! Beautiful yeah. shot, Anthony Karen. As always, good to see John Blaze. He competed today. He helped us tie the record. He was the last entry, man. So, uh, helped us tie the record tonight. Big spare for Anthony. Yeah, you're right about that, Casey. Jeff. Way to call it, Casey McCool. Streamer and competitor in the ACSTB North. Big out here for Jeff right now. Sure is. All right. Nine box. Casey okay. moving on his, new, his doubles partner, New Hampshire compatriot, Anthony Garrett. 54 through 6 for Jeff. Four pin match. Anything more than four, Anthony will have the lead. Seven box. Anthony's feeling, feeling it, and that will be six, leaving the diamond. Anthony now up two from completed boxes. Yeah, he's up two. Sean M. Haley says, hello all. Hello, Sean. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Beautiful ball. Oh, my God. Jeff is getting tattooed and bleep over here. Five, eight, nine, ten. Two great pocket hits for Jeff here. Garbage both times recently. And Anthony off to the right just picks off one. Right. I've seen this shot get made. Mike Capone made an ACST recently. Oh, what a bid. Jeff gets that 589 out of there, leaving this 10. And Anthony gets a nine box out of it. Maybe. Yep, I'm going to stick with the nine. <laughs> yes. We're all wondering. Yes. 65 through 7 for Anthony. 63 for Jeff. Okay, two pin lead for Anthony Karen. Three boxes to go. Winner. Yes, Mark Duvar in a two string matchup. Official uh, was a high single out of the money. Richard with the 166 got the high single. Oh, Coach congratulations Coach. to him. Just put on a turn. Anthony's going to get a break there, a double break. Let's see if it stays. Let's see how that would. Well, he's, moves off. He's got to make it. Now he got a huge break. He's got to take advantage. Jeff, 5 6. And that 10 pin's not going anywhere. Jeff not getting any breaks right now at all. But he's still only down two. of a razor blade there for Anthony Carey just missed that five. Yeah, Wade, better than watching basketball. I agree. That's some great competition. Oh, oh yeah. Jeff's throwing great balls and just nothing is going right now, but he's still right in this match. All right, that'll be a nine, so Jeff has a chance to pick up a pin right here. Yep, every pin right now worth his weight in gold right now. The win in the gutter is still two pins, two boxes to go, 74 72. Who is going to find their game first is going to win this. <laughs> Mike Frump is not thinking very well of the Bruins and their playoff chances. I might have to disagree with him on that. Hey, Brandon Robert, Brandon and Celia, always great to have you on the broadcast, Brandon. Glad you're enjoying it, my man. Oh, half Did you Worcester. believe that? Two half blisters. God. Yeah. So much for fast scoring and freaking uh, putting street lanes tonight. And Wayne, believe it or not, that wood was on the lane. That was not double wood in the gutter. We, we, took a close, we took a close look at that, and it was on the lane. But anyway. 
All right. Oh, oh, oh that wood oh. was rolling across at the speed of light, but just behind those two pins. The eight for Anthony. All right, see Chuck you get one or two here. Who knows? Make them off the the, the curtain, Johnny Blake style. Get them both. And gets one. One pin, one pin match. Game. 82 81. One box to go. Anthony leads by one. Set winner will get Mark Uvard. Mark looking to, to do a repeat. Have you ever repeated before in a King of the Hill Mark? Yeah. He has before. Here. Anthony. Oh, oh goodness oh. gracious. Again. Banana split. Four, two six, and seven. two. Man. Torture for both these bowlers this game. Jeff in the pocket. Finally gets a little break. Leaves a single. Leave the three pin. Beautiful first ball by Jeff Burns. All right, every pin. Yeah, we're just waiting for gold right now. Baseball. Jeff Burns makes it. There we go. Great mental fortitude by Jeff Burns. Had every bad break go against him. Got one opportunity to make the spirit. He made it. And that's it. Jeff Burns moves official. on. Rough game for Anthony there with 89, but Anthony Karen finishing in third place tonight. All right, he can. He hasn't thrown his last ball of the night as uh, he'll be trying for the high low jack. High low jack's about $150. It'll be probably about $180. So. But that was an 82 81 game. Both bowlers hit the head pin and uh, came down to the leaves. Yeah. Jeff connected on the single pin. Now Jeff gets a break. Nine foot off the head pin. 100 game. So it's a final in the books. Jeff 100, Anthony 89. The final score, very deceptive there. Uh, is there going to be any handicap this game, Fish? Uh, yes. Mark comes in with a 114. Five? Five each game, yep. yep. Five, Five for each Jeff. Game. Correct, yep. <laughs> Jeff Burns will be getting five each game. Mark Uvard is up to as a 114 average now. Here in the tournament. Okay, Mark Uvard will be warming up. Let's see if they can turn it up a little bit. It's been a little low scoring so far. Tight match. Hey, Mike Nardone on here. How you doing? Yeah. Brandon, Brandon Robert, aka Brandon, is going to say Colonial Bull leave for Anthony. I agree. He would have got something like that at Colonial Worcester back in the day. Mark's warming up right here. Mark's won this championship multiple times, I'm assuming, between here and Mason's. And, uh, you know, twice in the last two years, I think. Wow. Both times he's won it, though, I have not been present. <laughs> Uh, no, I was present last month. The other time, he, yep. the first time I wasn't present. He bowled two 150 games that day. Hey. All right, this is it. Yeah, we have the men in black tonight. 30 bowlers, the men in black. Representing Putnam Street Lane, Central Massachusetts. Mr. Mark Uvar representing Western Massachusetts, Agawam Bowl. Mr. Jeff Burns. Here we go. And Mark gets seven with his first ball. He's was here early. He was uh, watching the bowling earlier. Oh yeah, he was he was loving the fact that there was <laughs> thirty people trying out yeah, here. He's a winner no matter what. Yes. Oh Jeff, right in the pocket. Oh, 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 oh Jeff started to find his rhythm now. He's picking up where he just left Open off. Up the kaboom box. But Mark but Jeff gives Burns it a whirl there. in the ten wiggles, but doesn't go. I haven't been able to say that too many times tonight. <laughs> there has not been too many kaboom boxes. And a nine box. Finally, Mark. 
five of each. So Jeff's getting five. Uh, he's getting he's off Jeff's on six right now. He's got two ball fill. This is a two game final here. Mark right in on the head pin, and is it going to be a split? Unfortunately, it will be. Yeah, it was a pretty, pretty big nose dive there for Mark, but it's a nice first ball. A little bit heavy. It's five. It's, he's got the clearing. Uh, four horsemen with oh. the eight pin. Mark gives it a run just off to the right. Yep, he's got two ball fill on the strike here. Yeah. Nice piece of wood right there back of that one three. I've never seen Jeff Cole before. A really good bowling form. Yeah, Very really nice. good. Form. Oh, and that's going to go right. Uh, it does. Spare rod strike back to back attack, Mr. Jeff Cole. 30 and a ball, boy. Mark better get those uh that get that rocket ball going cuz Jeff has found found himself three straight marks now. He got robbed a bunch of times, and now he found it, and once you find it, look out. And there goes Mark. And that, well, it, it was an ugly lead, but it still is an ugly lead, even though that is... Yeah. <laughs> I believe the five pin fell. Now he's getting the type of breaks Jeff was getting yeah. last game early. Let's see what Jeff could do here. That's his fill ball, and again, and right down his line. Oh, yeah. Leaving the five pin, got a little guide pin in there. Let's see if it helps or hurts. Yeah, Mark off to the left. Okay. Let's see where this wood settles. 39 through 2 for Jeff Burns. Oh, I'm thinking red line day maybe for Jeff. I'd say that the higher the better. Yeah. Well, you would think. I'm thinking maybe too high might, I don't know, send it yeah. off. Oh. Red line should, should work. Uses the cap and makes a 49 of them all. It's three in a row, and Mark off to the right with a seven. So Jeff off to an early start with three straight marks. Yeah, it's you know sometimes it's tough. The mark's been sitting around for 30 minutes now. We had to get 30 bowlers cleared out, and then we have to set up because uh, for those of you, this is a 10 lane house. It's very narrow. It's not. We don't have room to really set up in advance for the ladder series. <laughs> Half Worcester there for Mark. Jeff right now, four marks in a row over two games here. He's feeling it right now. He's real feeling it. Oh, in the pocket again, that's four for four. And uh, 17. And here comes Mark, and he tries to connect on the outside and just to the left. Yeah, Mark just got to really just take a deep breath and regroup. He's got plenty of time. Go press. 56 through 3 for Jeff. How about four in a row for Jeff? 66 and a ball, baby. Mark connects with the head pin. He leaves the 2 and 2. That will be just a six box, giving him 30 through, through 4. So Jeff is uh, up 36 right now. He's got a ball. Yeah. Anything can happen. The starting gun went off, and Jeff is off and running like the roadrunner. Yeah, you know, Mark can find it like Jeff has. Mark has those capabilities of putting yep. a 50 up at any time. He'll have a tricky shot here coming up, and Jeff's got another fill ball. We've been saying that a lot lately. Yeah. Oh. Jeff, ooh. Two, three, oh, four, oh, my five. goodness. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> when you hot, you hot. Oh, and when goodness. you not, you not. Oh, and Mark. Na, 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 na. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Play your lottery tickets, Jeff Burns. <laughs> Put it on the board. 85 in a ball. Five in a row. Mark connects for it to 10. Okay. This is like Brian's surprise last week in the finals against Joe Rav. Wow. 42 people. 42 viewers. Thank you once again. On a Saturday night at 10 and 17. Sharon Carlos says, nice job, Jeff. I agree. He's lighting it up. I mean, that's as perfect as I have as I've seen Justin Waters bowl this year or Tim Douglas bowl this year. Freaking unreal, man. So 
we go to the six box. You got Mr. Jeff, Jeff right now. Yeah, working on a working on a spare eighty five plus this ball right here in the sixth. You know he's up fifty. He's getting five pins too. Yes, about that. Yes. <laughs> Again, nice form, just off to the right. That's a five fill. Mark Huvar in the pocket, five six, leaves a diamond. Three, five, six, nine, no wood for Mark. Really needs a mark here. So, this, is, this would be for six in a row. Oh. Well, gave it a run, and Mark, oh. heck of a try on the diamond. Just a little light there in that three uh, six area. We need somebody to go get the pin. Mr. Mass, somebody. Yep, here we go. Mr. Mass, who coordinated the tournament at Mason's for decades about decades. And Rick Santucci says hello. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. What's happening, man? It's been a unique night, Rick. We tied the attendance record, so uh, 30. We're going to try to break that sucker next month. And Jeff with the 10 remains perfect through uh, Mark with the 10, six 50 for 6. We're looking at a 55 pin lead for Jeff. 105 for 6, people. Right, Jeff with 100 scratch plus the 5 for the handicap. Well, like I've said, I did a Justin Waters Billy Shiner match. Billy Shiner made up 66 in a game. It's never over in Canada. Fortunately for Mark, it's a two string, two string final. Yep, Mark can get hot at any minute. Mark Huvar just off the head pin, six, seven, maybe eight, leaving a one, seven, nine. Jeff with the four horsemen in the ten of the post. Hits the object a little bit heavy. Mark Huvar go for his first mark. Oh, how did that not go? Takes the one nine, leaves the seven. All right, he's still got a little smile on his face. He's, exactly. good. he's yeah. not letting it get to him. The mental game is very important in handle pins. Jeff with the ten. Mark answers. It's 115 to 60. We got three boxes to go in game one. Both bowlers with 10 boxes in the 6th and the 7th. So, uh, Mark's been unable to pick up any pins here in the second half of the first string of this final. So Jeff at 110 plus the 5 handicap. 115 as he starts the 8th box. He's been off the head pin the last three. Mark, the soft head pin. Chop zone takes out the 3, 6, and 9er. He needs to have something good happen right now. He needs to get the mark and start building that momentum. Jeff picks one off on the right. Good effort by Mark. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little off the object. Left the 10 pin. He's pinning really well. He's got three straight 10 boxes. Connects his third consecutive 10 box. Mark now with four 10 boxes. Great pinning. And of course, Jeff had marks in his first five. Yeah, they would be like really uh, doing good in the ACST right now in the 10 box category. Yes. Sarah Wright is like number two or like number three in the D in uh, 10 boxes. She, she was here tonight. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. She's still here watching these. Yeah. Uh, Sarah always hangs out and watches. Jeff again, just off to the left, hitting the two. Mark Huvar just can't find that head He pin. could use a break here. Oh, gets a nine. Got his ball working left to right. Mark needs this spare like you read about. Wow, what a bid. Right here, Mark Bard. Now Mark's going to start. It took Jeff in his first game to the 10th box to Mark. 
So Jeff connects for his fourth consecutive 10. He's at 130 through nine, not counting the five. Yeah, 135 through nine. Mark's at 55 pin game, but Mark's got a fill ball. Big eight, nine, or 10 right here. Cut it down to the 40s. Just got to build momentum, one box at a time. That's what you got to do in candle pin bowling. Thank you, right now I'm seeing 38 viewers on my screen. Thank you all, man. Jeff. Mark Uvard, 5, 6. All right, 86, 91 in the night for Mark. Interesting shot. Let's see how Jeff decides to play, play this one. Oh. Mark's cutting into this lead. Big one oh, Mark. he gets a spare yeah. here. Whoa, okay. It's going to be about 50 pins here. Jeff's at 130. Those are the only pins he left up on the deck. 137. 142 with a handicap for Jeff Burns. That's a spare, a strike, four spears, four tens, and... Uh, the final box is seven, so that's 95 for Mark Rubart. Uh, Jeff right now is up 52, including the handicap for this next game. One game to go for the record-setting King of the Hill tonight. Thank all the bowlers for coming out. See a lot of them still here. Chris Lafreniere, Sarah Wright, Fendo Martins. A couple of them. Uh, Joe Corbett still hanging out watching. Couple, I don't know your name, but Sherelle, thank you. Sherelle Nealon. Sherelle Nealon. She's here as well. Chip's here. He's come close. Last two oh, times. there's Mark. Chip's going to have a breakthrough soon, I think. You're going to make it soon, Chip. You'll find that third game. You're going to be right in here doing this. I tell you, top four make it out of 30 balls. That's not easy. Obviously, no. the odds are against you. The odds are against you. Nice first ball, but Starlight 5, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10. I like that name, the Starlight 5. Yes, it was used by Don Gillis, of course, the, the famous Channel 5 show. It used to be a house in Boston, Starlight Lanes. I got that information from Dustin Scali, who is uh, also a commentator here on the Canopin Bowling Network. And a great bowler. A great right? bowler, yeah. He won back-to-back -back King of the Hills recently as well. Okay, Jeff now, that is his sixth straight open box. But he's pinning great. He left pins, only three pins up that whole game. Another ten box. Wow. And when you're, when you're ahead by so many pins. Yeah. Ten boxes ten box to go right now. Yeah. He's going to force Mark to throw a 150 any way you have a chance. But Mark's on a strike. Yeah, so Mark's on a strike. That's... Can't do any better than that in the box, right? And he's explosive, Mark. Well, you could use another one. Well, we're not done yet. That's a seven-pin drop. Nice leave off the head pick. Got a big break there. All right. Yes, thank you, Nico. Here comes Chef Burns in the pocket again. Six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate leaving the six ten on? Mark connects for that one. I almost called that too soon, but it looked Here good. comes Mark Uvard. And that wood is not good. No, the battle is joined. Uh, I'm thinking we may have to cap it and hope. Red line, I just think, ain't no good. All right, we'll see what the bowler does here. He's... It's going low. No. No. The wasn't much you could do about that one, to be honest. High or anything. And high was probably the only way. All right, he needs to get that 10 box. Keep pinning. Like I said, momentum can drop him a hat, candle pins. Look at that. Great 10 <laughs> box for Jeff, though. Great exhibition of pinning his last uh, six 10 boxes out of his last seven boxes. Here comes Uvar. On his spare. It's filled. He could use a strike and... Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Mark wanted that. He got a terrible break with that 70. But, you know, that wood's not horrific. No. It's, it's, it's See what Jeff can do? He's back on the head again. Oh, boy. 
Turn up the kaboom box, Mr. Jeff Burns. When he needed it, boy, he found that strike. He could hit the head pin the other two boxes. He really is doing a lot better on seven than eight. Oh, almost. So Mark takes a nine after the seven fill. 46 through three in this Jeff game. is at 35, got two ball fill, 11. Is a 36 pin lead still for Jeff Burns. Seven boxes to go. Mark, a little heavy on the head pin, and he leaves us an ugly split. Canvas Bowling Network also has a still photographer now. I understand. I saw that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to see some of those. Like she did an awesome shot of Craig of uh, Craig Hobart on his Oh my goodness! Is it gonna be a double? Double! Oh, gets a nine. Got a couple big planks in front. I do it. Jeff do it. answering Mark Hobart's <laughs> challenge right now. Is Mark gonna go to the left? He is. He is. He is. Uh, a little low. Yeah, but that was the way you had to play that yeah, one. Yeah, it was really difficult. I didn't think the wood was angled that great to make the shot. Jeff has three pieces of wood in front of this tendon. I'm thinking a little right. Let's go right at it. Yeah. There it is. Red line a little right. Beautiful shot. Spare on strike. Jeff Bird, 50 in the fourth. 55, excuse me, the handicap. They're even for the game right now, which means 47 pin lead. Mark really made up a bunch of ground, but Jeff just got it all back. Six boxes to go. Yeah, Sharon Carlos is keeping it clean, Jeff. Yeah, he is. He's pinning great. He's bowling yep. phenomenal right now. So Mark will have a spare opportunity coming up. His, in his last four games, he's had a 47, a 35, and a 37. Oh, those four. Uh, right down Broadway, but it's pretty Four on the spare. Mark low. needs that one. And would you believe he, the head pin is, is it going to go? Oh, it's not. Grand Theft Auto with aggravated assault on that. My goodness. I don't know if the ball actually hit the pin and it didn't fall. That was that was terrible. To do with somebody. Good bit for Jeff there. Needs to get now, ball. Yep. Mark off to the right for a nine box. So. Both bowlers finishing their final halves here. Jeff's going to have a huge lead. Talk about good pinning, you know, getting a nine out of that. Left only one pin up that will have. 63, 68 half for Jeff. Jeff right now is up 51 pins as we do this final half. Pretty much, he's got to mark out pretty much. Right, right? Mark or get a double, a double his, nine or a triple. He needs, he needs his strike ball. Yeah, he, and he, he's got one of those, but... Does he have enough time with the way uh, Jeff can crank it up? So Jeff to start his sixth box right now. 63 in the game, scratch through five. And right on the head pin, nine pin drop. Mark Uvard. Notice he uses a different technique when he's on lane seven. He really goes way out to the left and works it left to right. Even a three and two where he works it rather conventionally when he's on the right hand lane. Brian Surprise also does that a lot. Mark connects by hitting the end of the wood right into the pin. Mark has a great bid. Great bid. Hold it, Preston. The crowd rooting it on. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, right now it's going to be. We're looking at 52 and a ball right now. It's. What's really impressive is that was creative. Uh, fish. Yep. Did Mark Hubbard have a 9 or a 10 box last box? It was a 10, yes. He was too impressed by the wood that didn't work. Yeah, that was a What's it going to be? Leaves the. Guard off the head pin, roughly one, three, six, eight. Just the two, four, seven here for. Uh, that wood could spray yep. off the wall, though. But it's 84. He's up 58 right now. It's. 
almost must strike territory for Mark and Booker right now. Off to the right. Oh, would you believe it? The, the wood is zigging and zagging. It's and just and not his yeah. night. You know, it's, he's had a couple situations where he could have right. caught breaks and he just didn't. And Jeff just pulls Jeff. legs out. Yep. I mean, he was the number one seed, and uh, for good reason. He continued his efforts against Anthony, winning in the tenth box of that match. Yep. And he's picked up from there. Yeah, he just got hot after that. Mark Rivard, 83. He's, Jeff is up 10, which means he's up 57 right now. It's a nice strike situation for Mark. Whoop, you're going to need to reset. Three boxes to go. Boy, Western Mass has been bringing the heat lately. I know. Two King of the Hills for Chris Lafrenier. One King of the Hill for Ryan Drago. And now Jeff is... Yeah, the arrow is not letting me. Because I think you have to finish the box. Okay. Should I call Gary? No. There we go. And no, because I can't get his marks petty correctly in that previous box. Well, you just have his box. He had a 10 in this box. He had a 10 in both boxes. The 9 that's up there is incorrect, and I'm trying to ask for it. Put the 10 in. Yeah. And then correct. So you can correct the 9. You you score, correct score correct. And, correct yeah. Yeah. Just got a little score correct here. We got move it to the left. Yep. Thank you, Rick, for uh, the compliment. It says we're doing a good job, Dave. Oh, oh God, wonderful. Nice Rick worked yeah. today. He was doing a match today. I think I heard him. Yes, he did. Fernando Guccano versus uh, Mike Capone. Big win for Capone. He's right on the borderline for the playoffs. He took 10 today. Look at that. Again on the Brooklyn side, nine pin drop and a piece of wood beam. Jeff looking real five. good. Mark Huvar just oh, in the nose. Look at that hideous leave. That's his night in a Two, nutshell. Two, three. In a nutshell, huh? Four, six, nine, ten. Are you serious? God. Hey. Mark's won this thing twice the last year. You got to give him credit. Jeff gets the spare. When you're hot, you're hot, you know? And, oh, oh, what a bit for Mark. It's just not meant to be for him tonight. Um, let's see here if it's efficient yet. Nine pins, 56. I'm going to call it. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> uh, Jeff gets three in the first ball. He will have won the King of the Hill. I mean, it's just... Yeah. There's still a mathematical possibility for Mark. Three or more pins, it'll be over. Sean Haley says there's more to come from Western Mass. Yes, sir. <laughs> come out here, Sean. Do some bowling. And here's another fill ball for Jeff. That does it. Jack Burns, you're king of the hill. And, of course, Mark looking for any kind of break. Finally gets a little bit of it. Uh, yeah, it was a nice, <laughs> nice pocket hit for Mark. <laughs> Uh, Mark's wallet will be feeling pretty nice though after tonight. Yeah, he was he was a winner when, once he stepped through the door. Yeah, to say the least. Are we doing some post game? And a oh, ten for Mark. Yep, ten for Mark. Uh, and a ten. Was that a respect? Wow. Might have been a spare. Yeah, it was a spare. You're right. Losing track. Mark finishing strong. Is Jeff with the nine? Mark had a, has a Jeff at 116 right now through nine with his handicap. Mark Rivard 104 and a ball. Mark wants to try to maybe win this the last game here. Final box. Always good just to win the game. She's saying you know a loss, but won the game. Mark Rivard got the Joe the Joe Rab treatment tonight. He kind of ran into a buzz. Yeah. The buzz star is continuing. Okay. Vard is off the head pin, gets seven though. They get 111, he's down five for the game. The 116. That's how you end it, right? That's ending it in style, his fourth spear of the second string. Mark deserves a break. We go, Give the man a break. He didn't need a break. He hit that the way it was supposed to be. 114 for Mark. 126 and a ball for Jack. Holy cow, Batman. Finally got that high scoring at the end here. We'll do a little post-game interview. Then there's going to be the high-low jackpot shots. 
I'll let the fish let me know how much money that is with the, as we get there. And final fill ball. 128 for Jeff with handicap. <laughs> Mark Uvard with a 122. 217 for Uvard. 270 for the winner and new King of the Hill, Jeff Burns. Wait, yeah. four in the Okay, we got to double check the final score here. Yeah. 122. 122. They're not going to correct it there, but 122. It's a four. It did something bizarre afterwards. Okay. All righty then. We're going to do some post game. Hey, Mark. This is just one sec. We'll just do a quick post game. Thank you. Congratulations. Drew will be out here with Mark Evard. He retains his King of the Hill championship here. We got you. We Hey. Let's bring up the new king. Yep. Mark gives up his crown. I'm so used to him being uh, King of the Hill, but uh, yeah. Jeff Burns. I didn't hear what he said. Your first time for bowling here, or second time? Your last month, lost up. Lost up. Yeah, I remember that. I'm sure you remember these things. You get old. But anyway, what is your feeling after you that 147? Just kind of in the dome. Feel like you were like throwing a basketball? You know what? After our first string was 98, I had to start picking it up, really picking it up. And there was a good. That's what you did. And you had to really struggle against Anthony. You were getting a lot of bad breaks. How hard was that state of the game mentally right there? Yeah, you had one point, you had six tens out of seven boxes. And this match was a great job. But anyway, once again, this is Jeff Burns. He's from King of the Hill here. You'll see him next month at Benefit Tangle in April. And now we're going to go for the High Low Jack Bunch Shots. Fish show me up to And we me and Dave Peterson will do a final review. Thank you. <laughs> Dave, my man, um, it was a rough night at bowling at first. Uh, Anthony Karen won 103.91 over AJ Gagner, which was 84 scratch for seven handicap. Anthony Karen then a little better showing, had a 118, but uh, Joe Corbin had a roughie, 87 plus four handicap for 91. Then both bowlers struggled. Um, Jeff pulled it out in the last box. Last box with a spare nine. Made it 189, then Jeff just erupted. He just came out of the gates. 137, 123, 10 pins total handicap for 270. And a uh, rough start for Mark Uvard with a 95 and a one, then a 122. So Western Mass has been dominating lately, and uh, we see if it continues. Uh, Jeff, you go first on the, on the uh, high-low jack shot, Jeff. What is the money, uh, fish? Two hundred. Two hundred dollars, but they get you only get half unless you press feet five times. They all get half, right? Except for Anthony. I get the whole thing. Right, Mark would get the whole thing, and Anthony would get the whole thing. He get, he would get half. Okay, Mark and Anthony qualified to get all of it. Jeff right now is willing for one hundred dollars if he makes this. As we say, really nice steak dinner. You can even get lobster tails, dessert, a couple high-end alcoholic drinks. Man, you're, you're in business. It's a shot. Oh. All right. So now we've upped the ante to two hundred dollars. The March King, Mark Uvar, now going for it. Now Mark's going for the whole thing. You bowl here five times within the year, you get to go for the whole thing. Oh. Anthony Karen, Chris Lafrenier did it back to back months. I wasn't here for the second one, but I heard about it. Back to back months. 
Yes, Aaron Carlo, we're still kicking. Tons of chirping action. Is he going to get it? How did he get one out of that? $200. To so the Powell will rise next month. Next month, all right. The new king. Jeff Burns. Rocking and rolling. I'm Drew Steele. And I'm Dave Peterson. Signing off. Putnam Street Lanes in Fitzburg, Massachusetts. April, King of the Hill. Thank you all. Good night.